What's up everyone? I've got the scoop on Bean Puppy Cat Production, our latest contest, and Jelly Kid dies? Don't go anywhere. Bean Puppy Cat creator Natasha Allegri has teamed up with writers Madeline Flores and Frank Gibson to start the writing process on the Bean Puppy Cat series. That means the episodes are now being outlined and will be storyboarded by Natasha herself soon to follow. That's not all the Puppy Cat news. Character designer Becky Drystadt and Natasha have been working very hard on bringing some brand new characters to the Bean Puppy Cat series. Sure, you should definitely be excited about the show, but we've also been working very hard on some brand new Puppy Cat products brought to you by Squishable and Wheel of Fine. Wheel of Fine also has the highly anticipated Bindi Bravest Warriors action figures available for order today. And this. Check it all out at wheeloffine.com. Attention, Bravest Destroyers! All hail Lord Kappa! Season 2, Episode 4, Hamster Priest. It's gotta be your favorite, right? I know. What was your favorite part from the episode? And wait, Jelly Kid dies? See what happens next week, December 19th. There's a lot of awesome aliens in the Bravest Warriors series, including Lord Blorblor, and a ton of them were designed by just one dude. Bob Flynn, including some of your favorites, Jelly Kid, Impossible Bear, and you guessed it, Catbug. He stopped by the office to hang out and we got a moment to chat with him. So let's check it out. What's up everybody? I'm here with Impossible Bear, Catbug, Jelly Kid, and so many more character designer, Bob Flynn. He's here in the Cartoon Hangover office and uh, thanks for stopping by, Bob. Hey. So Bob, how did you get involved with Bravest Warriors? Yeah, I've been to LA. I got to hang out with like some of the creators of Adventure Time, specifically uh, Phil Rinda and also Andy Restaino um, were really cool when I was out there. They showed me around Cartoon Network. I got like, a call or an email asking me if I'd be interested in I had seen the pilot, yeah, that Penn Ward, um, you know, had made. The original, um, yeah. Yep. So like, I was very familiar with it and super jazzed to help out. And I think initially I just thought I'd be working on like an episode, right? Because I talked with uh, Sylvia, one of the mm -hmm. one of the producers on the show, and yep. Brian, and I was like, yeah, sure, I can help draw these little creatures. I worked on uh, some of my first designs for the show. I think were Gail from Time Slam yep. and Professor uh, Fart Sparkles. Mm -hmm. So character design, you know, it's definitely a process. So what? is that process for you whenever you're designing a new character? I just start drawing. I draw on paper. Um, I know that's becoming less of a normal thing. Like sometimes I actually put like a little check mark or a star mm -hmm. next to ones I like. Um, and then I scan them and then I kind of put them all together onto one digital sheet and I email them off you know, to the people working on the show and I get my notes from, yeah, from Brian usually. He'll make like recommendations or sometimes I'll just be like that's the guy sometimes I'll do like special poses like especially the characters that like really close to me like Impossible Bear is, he's one of my favorite characters I'm really like yeah he's great yeah like I'm happy with like you know, how he came out how he looks colored and everything like usually Brian will be like hey Bob like we want you to make sure this shot looks good so I'll get to yeah. draw like I think for like the Impossible Bomb oh yeah short mm -hmm. that came out I got like this drawing of him like sort of like laid out in the ground because like mm -hmm. Wallow had done like the next sleep pinch yeah so Catbog is obviously like a huge breakout character for Bravest Warriors and you were you know right there in the middle of developing this character what was that like figuring out what what he's gonna look like mm -hmm. um, was I think I got the voice track of Sam's voice wow. like aside from seeing seeing some drawings that Natasha Allegri had drawn I guess like a few contributions that I made to the character were just like how his how his wings work when they open up. Like when you think of a cat, like mm -hmm. a lot of cats have like whiskers right, and right. noses and stuff. And I really wanted to keep them simple. I think, yeah, if I added anything, it just, you know, make sure the design is cute mm -hmm. and, and, and like, you know, he'll be all set. So where can people find and follow you online? Cause I'm sure you're all over the internet. I'm everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on Twitter. You can follow me at Bob Jinx. Okay. Tumblr is blogger, Bob Jinx. Instagram. Um, my website uh, is www.jinxthemonkey.com. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm in most of those social networky places. Yeah. <laughs> Big thanks to Bob for spending time with us and drawing with us. That's right, be on the lookout for how to draw videos from Bob himself right here on Cartoon Hangover. We are extremely close to hitting 1 million subscribers and as soon as we reach that milestone we will be giving away not one, but two Nintendo 3DS XLs. Not one, but two. For more details on the giveaway, click right here and stay tuned. Keep sharing and liking our videos as we get closer and help spread the word. And remember, only subscribers can win, so if you haven't done that yet, do it now. Now click here to watch Hamster Priest. Lieutenant Vasquez, you will cease this behavior at once. Lieutenant Vas- <gasps> In my ready room now. Or head over to Cartoon Hangover 2, watch behind the scenes videos and see exactly how Bravest Warriors is made. First Officer Kirkman has always acted in accordance with warship protocol. Now where's my big old beer? Yes, there you are. <laughs>